Hi, GCBCR. This is Helen. Join me in today's scripture reflection. I'd like to share with you Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 to 6, and verse 16 to 18. This is from our fellowship discussion a few weeks ago. In a passage, Jesus says to his followers, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no rewards from your Father in heaven. So, when you gave to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they've received their rewards in full. But when you gave to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what's done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street's corner to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they've received their rewards in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what's done in secret, will reward you. When you fast, do not look sober as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their face to show others their fasting. Truly I tell you, they receive their rewards in full. But when you fast, put all you on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you're fasting but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father, who sees what's done in the secret, will reward you. These verses, Jesus emphasized the proper approach to three spiritual disciplines, charitable giving, prayer, and fasting. He does not direct us to give, pray, and fast. He assumes that we will do the things. He's emphasized is on doing them in the right way and for the right reasons. Jesus used the same basic formulas to teach us about these three a spirit a three spirit disciplines. He describes how hypocrites will perform it and cause us not to be like them. He assures us that the hypocrites will receive their rewards as they only want people's attention and praise. Then he instru instructs us regarding the secret practice of um, piety. And uh, he promises us that God will reward us for the piety's practice in secret. So today, when we're facing the challenge of COVID-19, we do need more practice on giving to the poor, praying and fasting in order to build stronger relationship with Jesus. Here's our challenges from today's reflection. If you're financially able, find someone in church who you can bless with a financial contribution. Perhaps it will be a single mother who's struggling in life. Perhaps it will be an empty nested senior who's lonely and concerned about safety when going outside to buy grocery. Whoever it is, bless them, not, not in your name, but in the name of Christ. If you do it in the right way, they will know who their real benefactor is. Moreover, I encourage you to fast. You don't have to do all the time, and you don't have to do it for a long time. Just find a way and a time to do it. Um, feel the discomfort, embrace the hardship, and learn the discipline of self-denial. Finally, let us all commit ourselves to prayer. Do not just pray when we're in trouble. Or follow the routine prayer in church or at dinner time. These are good, but let us do it in the real time and uh, um, just praise God and address the prayer in God's term 
Do it alone or do it with your family, with friends or with the group. Just do it. Thank you for sharing my reflection today and I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday.